Welcome to Sup Ride. Today we're going to be reviewing the iRocker Cruiser inflatable stand-up paddleboard. One of our favorite boards um, for 2020 and one of our top rated boards for beginners for this year as it's one of the most stable inflatable sups in iRocker's lineup and it's a very versatile yet stable board that does a really good job in open open waters you know gentle light waves fishing yoga taking out on the lake um, even if you want kind of a multi-passenger board really high weight capacity kind of bottom line it's just a really great board for someone looking to get into the sport or someone who just wants to for lack of a better word cruise around the lake or the ocean the iRocker cruiser is a fantastic board So looking at the iRocker Cruiser backpack, it's a backpack that's very comfortable and is and it does a really good job. Um, as you can see, it's it it rides really well with the hip with the nice hip buckles here. They're nice and padded, cinches up nice and tight, um, and it's really easy to carry the board with this. So if you want to go on a hike and hike into a lake somewhere and paddleboard, this would be a really good option. Um, Again, I really like the straps, how they're nice, thick, padded. You have the connection here, the connection up top, and you can cinch these up as tight as you can. Um, you also notice the difference because it doesn't have the wheels on the back of the backpack. It doesn't come down as low, and so when you're walking, it doesn't get in the way at all. Um, I've even actually thrown it on on a bike and biked into a lake that was one or two miles away, and it did a really good job. So overall, just a really high quality, durable backpack. So now we're gonna take you through everything that's included in the, in the cruiser kit, show you what it's like to kind of take it out of the bag, pump it up, um, just so you have a really good idea of kind of what you're getting into. Um, so again, here's the backpack, fits everything inside the kit really nicely. And as you open it up, really high quality zippers. And so you have iRocker's pump, You have their upgraded paddle here. And those that's what I like to keep on the, in, on the inside here, as you can see. Um, you have these straps that can tie this down. Um, there's one in the back here, sorry, that wasn't already connected, right? But it's just nice to keep things nice and tight inside. And then you've got this strap that holds the board together when you're taking it in and out just like that. Um, so all of that comes in the bag and then also you have your leash, your repair kit, and your fin. So if you notice on the bag, just really quick, some of these other elements, there's zipper pouch in the front and the top. So you have these two zipper pouches, which are really nice. Nice compartment inside with these with these two straps to kind of hold the hold the board down there's also a zipper in the back here that you can fit their new pump that they're coming out with here soon so look for that and then finally on the front here you have these cargo mesh areas on both sides where with zippers behind those so you can store things like your wallet or your keys really nice and, and convenient and just in general just a really great backpack and all of that comes included all right, so let's show you what it's like to roll this thing out and pump it up. Um, so you'll see, it's pretty impressive how well it it, it folds up. Um, that's what it looks like all rolled up. So I'm going to show you how to how to pump this up with iRocker. So this comes again in the kit. It's a dual chamber triple action pump. And so what that means is on the pump there's three different settings. Okay, the first setting you're using both these chambers on both. When you, when you pump it up and you pump it down, you have air coming out here of the nozzle. When that starts to get a little bit challenging and tough to do, you switch it to, to stage two, which is gonna be, you, you probably can't see it there, but there's two little down arrows. And what that means, there's two chambers here. You're still gonna use both chambers, but on the up, up pump, you're not pumping in air. It's only on the down stroke when you're actually pumping air in. Then when it gets really hard, you're gonna switch this to number one, and it's gonna make it only one single and single action, so not on the upward action, just on the downward action, it's gonna use it. So that's how the pump works. It's a really solid, good, high quality pump. Um, and it just connects to this valve in the back. Now, one thing on the valve, when you're pumping it up, a little bit counterintuitive, but you wanna make sure the valve is actually locked in the closed position, which is up 
when you go to pump it up, pump it up. Because when you go in and you engage this, it's gonna, it's gonna push that pin down so air can flow in. But when you take it off, it's gonna stop air from, from coming out. I do it all the time. I always forget and I have this thing down and you end up losing about three or four PSI, even if you're super fast at getting that pin back up. So again, we're just gonna engage this here and we're gonna start pumping it up. And typically, you know, you can, it takes about, depending on how fast you can pump, um, probably about seven to 10 minutes to pump it up by hand. It's not too bad. If you have two people, it's actually a nice trick. You get one on one side, one on the other, and you get going, and it makes it a lot easier. Um, so that's what I use my kids for. But, you know, you just pump it up. As you see, air goes in. Um, and like I said, so with this pump, it takes about seven to 10 minutes but it does leave you a little winded. And so if you're a little bit lazier like I am and wanna just kinda of sit back and, and have a drink or whatever while your pump's getting pumped up, our top recommended upgrade actually is the electric pump. So iRocker has a fantastic electric pump that all you do is just engage that, you adjust it here to 15 PSI and you hit go and it pumps everything up for you and just makes it a ton easier. So that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of this so you can see what that looks like. So now we're gonna look at the board specs, the construction, and kind of just the general shape. So starting with the shape, as you can see, it's, it's 10 foot six inches long, 33 inches wide, and six inches thick. So it's, it's kind of a nice all around shape, but just a little bit wider, right? Um, and that just is really good for the, for the stability. So it's 33 inches wide here in the middle, and then it tapers down to just 22 inches total in the tail. So that's an inch wider than the all around in the middle, and it's six inches wider in the tail and 10 inches wider than, than the sport in the tail. So it is the widest, more stable iRocker board in their lineup. Um, so that's just great again for beginners, for people wanting to do yoga, people that are concerned about stability, great board, but it will still grow with you and you'll still like it. It's still fairly quick, not quite as quick as the other boards, but does a good job. Um, now from a construction standpoint, it's made out of the same material as the other iRockers. So it's the triple layer composite PVC that just feels really solid underneath your feet. It, it's just a fantastic board. It's, all of that is around the drop stitch inner core. So that's those thousands of little threads that are tight when you blow it up and gives the board its rigidity and its shape. And all of that basically gives us a 25 pound board. So given how solid it is now stable, I actually like the fact that it's only 25 pounds. They cut the weight by 20% this year and it makes a big difference, but you don't lose any of the performance or the durability. Um, in fact, this, this, the weight capacity on the cruiser is 400 pounds. So you can definitely put you plus some cargo, a dog, other people on the board. Fantastic specs with that. Um, now looking at all the features on the board, we'll start at the tail here. So in total, there's 21 D rings, right? You have seven of those in the rear with these that kind of hold this, this extra large storage, storage area there. You've got the handle in the rear, then you've got these two safety handles, which I love. You've got them in the, in the back and in the front. Moving on the middle, you have a really nice, thick, comfortable EVA deck pad that both has the I -Rock, these cool little iRocker logo stamped in to give it some grip, but it also has these grooves that give you more grip and also help channel the water off. Big fan of this EVA deck pad, and we've taken this out a lot and you can see how nice it looks so it does stay clean and does a really good job there um, you've got more d-rings in the middle the handle in the middle so it really makes it easy to carry in and out launch with the front and you know the handle in the back in the front here or the middle moving up to the front you've got another large cargo storage area let me get out of the, out of the shadow here um, with these with these d-rings storage and again, another safety handles. I like the safety handles for my kids because they can just hold on if they get a little bit nervous. Um, and it's just, again, all of, those, all of those features just really make it very functional and you can do a lot of different things with it. And one thing that I almost forgot, iRocker added this year are action mounts. So you actually have four action mounts. So two here and two up front. So that's for GoPros, that's for cup holders, phone holders, um, fishing rod holders. Again, just makes this board even a little bit more versatile and just a fantastic board. Okay, 
so now we're going to look at all the accessories and everything that comes in with the kit um, when you buy the cruiser. So everything we have here is included in the price. So nothing, like pretty much it covers everything that you need to get out on the lake or the ocean and paddling, which we love. Um, so first thing, the repair kit from my rocker. Hopefully you never need this. Um, basically just has a couple patches. And then it also has a valve for this or a wrench for this valve in the back. If it gets loose, hold on to that because it's not necessarily something you just go down and buy at Home Depot. Um, we've never actually had to use it with an eye rocker, but we've got a lot of these sitting around just in case. Um, also comes with a really nice leash. So it's a coiled leash um, and it swivels really well. Quick release and has a, has a place for your key up front here. And it's a really good quality leash. It feels really good. Um, and the nice thing, when you, when you do tie it into this back D-ring, because it's coiled, it's gonna stay out of the water. So it's not gonna drag, it's not gonna get tangled, it's not gonna slow you down. It's a really good, good leash. And again, we do recommend using the leash. Um, bag we've already covered. Again, it's a really good high quality bag. Love the upgrades that iRocker has done this year. Um, and if, just to mention it again, if you are looking for like a backpacking type situation, it's a good option because it is very lightweight and just feels really comfortable. Um, triple action, dual, dual chamber, triple action pump. Great pump, we've covered that as well. Um, wanna show you the paddle now. Now, iRocker did upgrade the paddle here on the iRocker line to a carbon composite shaft, and they upgraded this nylon blade. So the nylon blade's nice and thin, and the carbon shaft just make it a really lightweight paddle that feels really good in your hands, and it's adjustable. Um, so you can you can adjust it to whatever size you need. So let me show you kind of how this works. Um, so this top part, you just slide on, and it's just a pin system. So push that down. Now don't slant, don't smash your finger there, right? And it just locks it in place there. And then this top part here, there's a pin inside here. You just push that up, and you can't mess it up. You you always know if it's straight, you know, with the holes. You just slide that in and clamp that down. And that's how you put together together the paddle really nice and easy and then you can adjust it you know even though you're on your board i just like it to be just a f about five or six inches kind of above my head um and that makes it really nice and comfortable so again that's the eye rocker paddle nice upgrade this year that they've done really like the fact how thin this blade is because as you're paddling that end weight if you have a really thick you know um, blade it really adds up when you're out for one or two hours so love the paddle um now look at fins i rocker has the three snap in fins and i'm going to flip this over and kind of show you show you how these work but one thing really quick i love the white color it's just a little bit different a little bit of personality but i i'm a pretty big fan of that so let's flip it over and i'll show you how these work so like i said these the three fins that i rocker has with the cruiser they're the hard nylon blade snap lock so they're really easy to put in they're very stable very durable we've never had any issues with them and they just perform really well um, so to put those together all you do is insert that at the front push it down and then snap that snap that in side down snap it in Push that down and just make sure you push it all the way down because if it's only if it's only about there you're gonna have a hard time pushing this pin down so just make sure you push that down once they're down they're in you can see nice sturdy do a really good job from a performance standpoint super easy to put in super easy to take out so you just lift the pin and pull it out lift the pin pull it out and we really do like those fins So the iRocker Cruiser, from a performance standpoint, there's a lot of reasons why we really like this board. When we're, when we're evaluating performance, we look at a couple things. We look at the stability, we look at the maneuverability, we look at tracking and glide, and just in general, how well the board performs. Um, as, I've, as we mentioned throughout this video, the Cruiser is really built for stability. You have the 33 inch width in the center and the 20 inch width tail this makes it really stable board i mean 400 pound weight capacity you can see as i jump up and down you know you get a little flex but it's really not much it's one of the more stable durable boards that you can get and we really like that um but even though it's still stable it's still pretty maneuverable you know as i hear just do this kind of easy easy turn here as i paddle backwards 
you'll see the board turns really well. So if you're just out kind of paddling around the lake with your friends, um, need to turn here, turn there, it does a really good job. Then, as you kind of get a little bit more experienced and you want to kind of practice your back fin, back step, back fin turns, you just want to step to the back, lift that nose up just a little bit, you know, and you can see the cruiser very solid in that. And that's especially because you have that 20 inch tail makes that back fin turn a little bit easier for beginners to, to kind of practice and to do, right? Um, so really stable board, but still maneuvers really well, really excellent. And as far as tracking and glide goes, um, as you can see with those three fin, with the triple fins that are removable, the hard nylon, they, they just do a really good job on the tracking side. And I really like the, the rocker line of the board. You see the front, the rocker just comes up just a little bit. And as you notice on flat water, it's not pushing any water, not creating drag or resistance. So you can still get going fairly quickly on this board. Not as fast as the all around, um, not as fast as like a Blackfin Model V, but it still tracks and glides really well and feels really good underneath your feet. So overall, really good, really good high performing board at a really great price. That extra stability is great for beginners. Kind of where it, where it lands in the all iRocker lineup is if you're a beginner, if you're concerned about stability, this is gonna be your board. Um, if you want a board for yoga or anything like that as well, I like the Cruiser a little better than the all around just because that extra width um, and that extra stability. But it still is a board that after you've been paddling for a couple of years and you just wanna go out and tour across the lake, you're still gonna be able to do that and you're still going to have a lot of fun. So again, just in general, all around a great performing board that we really do like. So as you can see, we're pretty big fans of the iRocker Cruiser. Um, and kind of bottom line, if you're a beginner, if you're someone who just wants a really nice stable board that's still pretty versatile and can handle open water conditions, you know, gentle rivers, if you want to fish on it, do yoga, um, it's just a great board for, for those purposes. And it's a board that we think you'll really love. And it's, a, as, as with all iRocker's boards, it's backed by their warranty and their, their customer support. We just love iRocker. Um, so I hope that review helped. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Go read our, go to our site, www.supportguide.com, and you can also follow the link below to read the full in-depth review with photos and just a full written review of the iRocker Cruiser. And have a great day.